finally back up into Lake Country, Ontario for another geocaching adventure with the canoe. But this time we're not with Lyric Lass. I'm with our muggle son, Paul, and you last saw him right here on this adventure. Here, check, check this out. <laughs> Terra firma. <laughs> So let's get that canoe down and let's go. There we go. We got the canoe down, ready to go. And our first stop is right here on this island. So let's go. It's time for an adventure. Just like that. We're at the first cache. It's on this island somewhere. Come along with me. I think I see it. Boy, does that blend in well. Very good. Look at that. I'm no turkey, but I think I found it. Wait a minute. That's not a turkey. It's a pheasant. Whatever. <laughs> I got it. You gotta like when it turns out quick like that. And uh, you can make the find really quick. Awesome. A nice dry log and a beautiful view while I'm signing this up. Take a look. I was a little concerned because there were some swans right on the point of the island and I was worried about walking into a nesting site or them coming attack me, but the swans left the island and sailed along the shore and watched the adventure from a safe distance. So we're going to leave them now and move on to the next cache. It's just over on the next island. So we're on beautiful Lake Kuchiching. One of our patrons messaged me as I posted a photograph on Facebook and said, don't you mean it's Lake Cacheching? Cha-ching. Alright, I'm on the island, beach the boat, Muggle Sun's over there waiting, and the hint says this one is on a limp willow. Well, the only willow I see is that way, and there's no easy way to get to it walking. So I think I'm going to have to go in the water. It's a sacrifice, but somebody's got to do it. And the water, the water's beautiful. And now, we'll just look for the cache. And it's a 3-5. Uh, Doesn't have a very inspiring name. But uh, let's see what we can find. It says it's a lockable box. And uh, most of the glass logs were quick find, but I'm not seeing it. So, this is a little harder for me than them, but we'll get it. Okay, I'm feeling rather sheepish because uh, I looked for this thing for quite a while. I even climbed up into the tree. Yeah, believe it or not, I did. And uh, I sent out a couple of feelers. I even got uh, DGAS71 to send back a note. 
And uh, before he came back with telling me how stupid I was and where it was, I walked around to the side of the tree I hadn't been to yet. And uh, lo and behold, there's the cache. <laughs> Sometimes it pays to look around a little bit more. Ugh. At least I got it and I didn't have to sign a DNF because everybody else said it was a quick find. It would have been if I had just walked to this side of the tree. <laughs> okay, safely back in its spot. We'll go get another cache and maybe this one won't take me so long. <laughs> uh, what a beautiful day for a canoe caching expedition. Take a look at this view. They just, they all get really, there's just one good view after another. Got that one done. Now we just gotta cross the lake completely to the other side. Maybe we can get a lift from this plane that's flying over us. going down the edge so I'm just gonna crawl under the bush. Hang tight. Oh, ow. Oh. 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 Got it. <laughs> Whew. This one's a 4-4 four four. and it's in good shape. Well Wolverine 31 thanks for your assistance with the camera. You're welcome. So I'm sure Wolverine 31, that's our son Paul, is glad to be back out in the canoe. Doesn't care so much about the geocaching, just wants to get out in nature. Is that right? Yep. It must be a good geocache outing because I cut my arm. So if you shed blood while you're geocaching, you've done something right. So we're going to enjoy a nice picnic lunch. Then we're going to contemplate going out over the lake to the other shore there and going further down. About 3.1 kilometers is a, an earth cache and then another island cache after that. So if the winds are favorable, we'll get there. If not, this episode is over. <laughs> Made landfall and found the earth cache it was a lithographic quarry. What's a lithographic quarry, you ask? I had to ask myself, and I found out reading the cache description.
we bypassed the next geocache. It had a funny and interesting name, which sort of hinted at what you could expect, but as we got closer, it soon became apparent it was an island of nesting cormorants and seagulls. We decided it best we not attempt to get the cache and just call it a day. Sometimes it's better to pass. We hope you enjoyed this adventure. There's more where that came from. Where will geocaching take you?